What's up, Life Changers kids? It's Chandler here. It's Galito. Just wanted to say we love you and we miss each and every one of you and we can't wait to be back here in the space uh, and just hang with you and party and play games and just be with you. Um, but just wanted to let you know that we have some awesome online experiences coming for you. We have some yeah. live worship coming, Woo. an amazing drama, awesome words of encouragement that we're going to get to you guys coming soon. So stay tuned for that. But today we wanted to do something very special with you guys. We wanted to, you know, try to have like a little game moment that we can do with you guys. So Gala, why don't you go ahead and tell them what we're going to do. Guys. We're going on a scavenger hunt. Let's go scavenger hunt. That's what you guys just heard. We are going on a scavenger hunt. So you're probably wondering, like, okay, well, how am I going to go on a scavenger hunt if I can't go outside? Like, wh what do I do? Yeah. Well, that's exactly the answer. We're going to go on a scavenger hunt to see what you have in your house. God, let's tell them how that's going to work. Yes, guys, we are going to give you a list, and we're going to put a timer on the clock. You guys need to find these next five things, all right? Maybe if you're with your siblings watching, you guys can split it up and maybe choose who gets what, but you guys need to get these five things. You guys ready to hear these things? Here we go, here we go. All right, first is a pen. Next is a paper. Next, a cup of water. Next is a blanket. Stay nice and warm. And the fifth thing is your Bible. Okay, guys, I'm going to put 60 seconds on the clock, Ooh. all right? Maybe turn up the volume on your phone, your TV, whatever you're watching on so you can jam, hear some music while you're looking for these things. But I need to make sure you guys are here, all right? We're going to start it in three, two, one, go! <laughs> They're back, they're back. Did you guys get everything? I hope so. I think they did. That was pretty quick. But you're probably wondering, why do I have all these items? And honestly, I don't even know. <laughs> Chandler, tell us why. Oh, my gosh. You guys, all these items that you guys all just got all have a story behind them. And I'm going to go ahead and tell you why you had to go get a Bible, a piece of paper, some water, a blanket. I'm going to tell you right now. Say this with me. What's in your house? Ready? One more time. What's in your house? Boys and girls, the items that you guys had to grab that are right in front of you all play a vital key. And I'm going to tell you why. Okay? So if I were to tell you right now to go ahead and write down your favorite verse, take your pen, get your paper, and write down your favorite verse, would you feel at peace that you would be able to do it? I would say so because I have my pen, I have my paper, I have my Bible, so I could just write down my verse. Or what if you were thirsty? What if you just needed your, your thirst quenched and you needed something to drink? Well, if you look down, you have water right in front of you, right? So you just go ahead and take a drink, all right? Or what if you were cold and you just needed to be warmed up? Well, you have a blanket that you want to go find and you're able to wrap yourself in it and you're able to stay warm, right? So we have all these items that are in our house that you guys found that are able to help you with whether it's you need to write a verse or you need a drink of water or you need to be warm, right? Sometimes whenever a storm hits, boys and girls, we tend to get scared and we get nervous and we become afraid because we start to get distracted with all the things that we don't have. And we may be, you know, nervous about, okay, we don't have enough. We don't have enough of this. We don't have this. And all of our supplies running out. But boys and girls, you have everything that you need inside of your house. All you have to do is grab your binoculars, right? You grab your binoculars. Good thing I have some with me. And you just look. Right? You look through the binoculars, you see everything that you have that is in your house, and you're able to find those things, and you're able to bring them together. 
But listen to this. I want you to open up your Bibles and I want you guys to go to 2 Timothy 1.7. All right? 2 Timothy 1.7. And this is what it says. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. Boys and girls, this verse tells us everything that we need. Right? It tells us that we have power. It tells us that we have love. And it tells us that we have a sound mind. So whenever you guys are running through a storm or you're going through a struggle and things just seem like it's crashing down on you, you guys know that you have God on your side, you have him with you, and that you guys have a mind of Christ. Now, what's a mind of Christ? A mind of Christ tells the storm, peace be still. Come on, say that with me. Ready? Peace be still. And there's power in that. Your mind, the mind of Christ tells you, peace be still. And when you speak it, you have power, right? So you're going to tell that storm to peace be still. And that storm is going to calm and that storm is going to reside. And it's not going to come and affect you. It's not going to mess with you because you guys have God on your side. And I want you guys to remember that and keep that with you everywhere you go. What do you think, Gallo? Wow, man, that was so good. Kids, how great is it to know that God is with us 24-7, 365 days. Man, he is always with us, and we all need to know that, and we have to keep that with us. Exactly, Gallo, exactly, Gallo. Well, boys and girls, like we said earlier, we miss you guys. We love you. We can't wait to be back in this place with you guys, partying, yes. having fun, playing games. But also just want to let you know if you have any questions or you have anything that you want us to pray for, go ahead and tap your parents. Tell them to DM us on Facebook or on Instagram or email us in the email that's in the description below. And you, can, you guys could ask us any questions or send us your prayer request and we'll pray for you guys and uh, we'll answer your questions another time. Lastly, join us this Monday at noon for a very special online kids experience. We're going to have live worship, an amazing drama, a special word from Pastor Marla. It's going to be amazing. Tell your parents to mark their calendars, set an alarm because it's going to be so much fun and you yeah, guys are yeah. going to have an awesome time. So we can't wait to party with you. Can't wait to see you online. It's going to be amazing. We hope you guys have a beautiful day. We out. Bye.